Question 1. John makes a sequence of numbers. His rule is to add the same amount each time, right in the missing numbers. Well, the first thing we've got to do here is take a closer look at what the gap is from the first number all the way to the last number. So what's the big gap from minus 1 to 19? Well, we can use 0 to help because we know that the gap from minus 1 to 0 is 1 and the gap from 0 up to 19 is 19. So the large gap all the way from the first number to the last is going to be 1 plus 19, which is going to be 20. So the big gap is 20, which we'll write here. Big gap equals 20. But what else do we know? Well, we also know that we're not doing this just in one jump. We're doing a series of jumps. So the question is, how many jumps is there? Well, if there's five boxes, it might look as though there's five jumps. But when you check, it isn't five jumps. The first jump takes you to the second box. Second jump takes you to the third box. Now we're on three jumps. Now we're on four jumps. We've got four jumps altogether. So we've got a distance of 20 to cover in four jumps. So if we divide 20 by four jumps, it will show us that 20 divided by four is five on each jump. So as long as we cover five on each jump, we should be able to fill in the boxes. So, on the first jump we're going to add 5, the second jump is add 5, add 5 on all of the jumps. So what we need to do now is start using this information to fill in the missing boxes. So, negative 1 add 5 is 4, 4 add 5 is 9, 9 add 5 is 14, and if all has gone to plan, 14 add 5 should give us the last box. 14 add 5 is indeed 19. So there we have it, we've done it. So just to recap, we found that the large gap from the first to the last box was 20, and there were four mini gaps, four mini jumps, so we split 20 into four to work out that there was five on each jump. Once we knew there was five on each jump, we used that information to get from one box to the next. And that's how you do it.